You want to be in the video, buddy? Nah, screw you. Welcome back to Drinking It In. I am your host, Chris Cassara. We're here to help you know more and drink better. And uh, you know what I like to do after I get a haircut? Makes me feel lighter. I like to drink some bubbles. Bubbles. They're light and fun. So in this uh, episode, we're going to talk a little bit about Cremant. In this case, a uh, Lucien Albrecht Cremant d'Alsace Brut Sparkling Wine. So you're going to see um, Cremant, uh, that term, in France, uh, or in wines from France, bubbles, uh, outside of Champagne. Basically, if you're making sparkling wine in France, but you're not located in Champagne, those bubbles are generally Cremant de something, you know, to Cremant de, and then insert location name. Cremant de Alsace. This is from Alsace. How about that? I think this is, uh, I think it's Pinot Noir, I thought, but I'm not positive of the grape that's actually used. I'll have to look at it and I'll actually, uh, I'll put, uh, I'll put something in, you know, I'll show it over here. Um, you'll see Cremant de, de Bourgogne, so Burgundy, Cremant de Lemoux. Um, what else? There's another really, not real one that I always gravitate towards and it's, I like it so much, I can't even remember what the hell it's called. Um, crap. Man, I'm getting old. I need to start eating more brain food. So, Cremant de Alsace, right? Cremant is all the, the, the wines in France that have Cremant on it, they're made in the same, same method as Champagne, right? So you have an initial fermentation, uh, then they put the, the wines in the bottle and they do a secondary fermentation in the bottle and then, you know, for, for a certain amount of, of time. And the result is just uh, amazing sparkling wine. And the wines, the, the Cremant wines, don't have that champagne name recognition or branding or marketing power behind it. So they're generally really easy to obtain. Um, this one in particular has really good distribution, but you can get a really good bottle of Cremant for $20, $25. And sometimes, you know, you'd be hard pressed to say you enjoy champagne more than you uh, enjoy a Cremant. Now, I already see all the sommeliers in the world being like, you're crazy. This guy doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Champagne's the best thing in the world and that's where all the cool kids drink. And yeah, that's fine. But in, but if you don't feel like spending $60 on a bottle of wine, but you want some bubbles, let's do a Cremant. Let's see what this one gives us. This has a, almost a floral note to it, a little perfumey along with some apples. Um, so a full disclosure, my wife and I had a little bit of this uh, yesterday, but this has a, a different nose today than it did yesterday. Interesting, it's a little more expressive. It, it opened up a bit. So the mouthfeel on this is so, so nice. The bubbles are really fine, really active. There's a, um, there's a brioche, bready note to it. But in the end, it's, it, there's a nice little uh, bitter citrus and peach finish. It's really, I mean, this is just dynamite. And um, I know that this is pretty widely available because uh, we did, in my office, we do a, a monthly happy hour, in this case, they actually sent everybody a bottle of this to celebrate, you know, uh, some uh, recent milestones, if you will. It's the like 25th anniversary of the company, so forth, which I thought was a really nice um, gesture, right? This is 40 people, 10 different states, not exactly an easy endeavor. So, uh, but via wine.com, you can get this bottle easily. You probably can find it locally. I'm not affiliated with wine.com, although, um, I filled out the affiliate form, but this channel's not big enough. So we gotta get, we gotta get more subscribers. So like, subscribe, hopefully you, you've enjoyed uh, what I'm doing here. Hopefully you're gonna get out and try some Cremant, whether it's Alsace, Bourgogne, Lemieux, or the one that, um, Lemieux, or the one that I'll uh, put in the show notes because I can't remember, can't remember my favorite Cremant. Um, well done, well done again, Chris. 
Thanks for joining. And, uh, you know, I will uh, talk to you guys soon. Cheers.